Happy, we're live now. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're live. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. My name is Ant Pruitt, and welcome to another weekly-ish hangout on air with the smartphone photographers community. This is the community where we get together and discuss different tips and tricks to make you a much better smartphone photographer. Because believe it or not, you know, these little things you carry around in your pocket and your purse, they take some really nice photos if you put a little extra, extra, you know, extra, extra effort into it. I can't talk tonight. Maybe I should have another sip of beer. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, sorry for missing last week's uh, Hangout on Air. That's why I said weekly-ish. Um, but last week, you know, in my day job, if you will, it, it was a little rough on me. And my brain was, was fried. And there was one moment I thought I felt my brain leaking out of my ears. I mean, it was just mentally exhausting. And I, I just didn't have the energy to sit in front of this camera and microphone and and tell you how great so-and-so shots are, but I appreciate y'all watching this anyway. Um, we got a small crowd in here tonight, just my man Michael King joining us, so let me introduce him. How you doing, Mike? Oh, I can't complain. Been a very nice day here, nice and warm. Oh, jeez. You're one of but, those guys. But, but, and there is a but, Monday we have a chance for snow and ice. <laughs> Oh jeez, yeah, we've we've had that here in the uh, in the southeast. Um, the last three days have been snow days for all of the different schools here in the area because of it hasn't really been a lot of snow. It's just been ice and getting down into low yeah. temperatures. It was like eight degrees today, then it got oh. up to like twenty, and now it's oh, going back oh, down. Oh, ooh. so it's been right a now little. It's, right now it's fifty six. It was up to near seventy. Hence why I have a sweatshirt on instead of my typical T-shirts, you know. It's been a little cold. But I appreciate you joining us tonight, man, and uh, hanging out on there with me. So let's uh, go ahead and get into it. Um, with this community, not only do we talk about different tips and tricks, but we also do a community challenge, if you will, every week where uh, someone will come up with a topic and we take photos based on said topic, okay? And then we vote on those photos using the good old plus one system inside of Google Plus. Now, each time there's a winner of the week, that winner gets to pick the next topic for the, you know, subsequent week. So, Stephen Dainty won our challenge previously, and he decided to pose the challenge of romance. Now, granted, his timing was... was right on par with people celebrating Valentine's Day. You know, that's that made-up holiday from that card company and that tends to make guys look bad, like they only love their soulmate or whatever one day a year. You know what I'm talking about, Mike? Uh, huh? Uh, huh? <laughs> that holiday. Well, anyway, he decided to, to make the theme romance, and we didn't get as much participation, but we did get some shots submitted. Um, personally, let me, let me just go ahead and throw my two cents out there. Regarding gotta, that particular topic, it seems like it's a little hard to expand on something besides shooting, you know, roses and candy and, and things of that nature. Now, granted, there was some things that came to my mind, but I think it would have... Uh, had a little line of differentiation in it because I think there's a difference between love and a difference between romance because I could show love in a lot of different photographs, you know what I mean? But showing romance is, I don't know, that's a little hard. What do you think, Mike? You're right. And, you know, you forgot a company, the Teddy Bear Company. Oh, jeez, yeah. Those guys and, oh, one, one other one, Pajamagrams. <laughs> they still around? Oh, hell yes. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about pajama grams. Thank goodness. The hoodie footy. I had someone <laughs> – I had a little blonde. Have you ordered my, my pajama gram yet? Have you ordered my pajama gram yet? 
<laughs> no, because I don't believe in that crap. Jeez. I, no, I said, no. You, you, just, I got that big teddy bear that's 99 bucks. Uh-oh. We froze. Someone froze up. Well, what happened? What happened? That was called my internet connection died. <laughs> I thought it was me for a second. Good grief. Yeah, I thought it was you too. And then I looked down and saw that the Wi Fi was dead on my phone. And then I just waited to see what happened with my little network uh, connection on the computer here. And that's, sure enough, it died. 
Anyway, let's um, go ahead and get into this before this network decides to die again. Uh, she's. I think, I think <laughs> my I think my uh, network problems from uh, a couple of weeks ago is con is is contagious. <laughs> Let me get Jeez. Anyway, we were talking about this week's challenge, and this week's challenge was themed after romance. And before the connection died, I said that this was, for me anyway, a difficult challenge to shoot for because it's only so many ways to show romance, you know, especially in a PG, PG-13 fashion. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of different <laughs> ways. There's a lot of different ways to capture to capture love inside of a photo. You know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily have to be someone hugging or someone kissing, but there's a lot of different ways to capture love, you know. You agree or you disagree? Yeah, I agree. Because, um, it, you know, there, for the whole, especially for Valentine's, it's just, it, it is, you have to do a lot of, of thinking, but there is many ways to do it. And, yeah. but, of course, everybody's way was, what do you normally think of Valentine's? I said, besides the pajamas, you're not going to exactly show your loved one in a pair of pajamas, especially if they're really sexy pajamas <laughs> or that big teddy bear. Most of the time, you're going to show roses, candy, and that kind of stuff. Of course. Of course. All right, Mr. Sweeney is going to join us. He just pinged us, so I'm going to make sure he gets the invite in. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, if you will, and um, we'll take a no look crash. at some of these shots that were submitted. So we're going to click screen share. Hopefully your net don't die. <laughs> Hop on over here. Screen mm -hmm. two and share. All right. There we go. See my screen, brother? Yep. Okay. I see my, oh, I see my picture right up front. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to hop through just a handful of these. Uh, we do have a very clear-cut winner in uh, this week's uh, challenge. But again, it's romantic, romance. That was our theme. So let's take a look at uh, a couple of Steven shots that he submitted. Not that one, not that one. This one. Now, he didn't get any votes on it. Um, I think it's because it says love for one thing. Does um does love particularly mean romance? I mean, this is all philosophical anyway. You know what I mean? But does that mean does that mean romance to you? I guess it's just because that what what is the norm? What is the icon for Valentine's Day? Yeah. Yeah, and again, Hard. this was all right around February fourteenth. Right, so that's why. Yeah. And 12. yeah, I, I, it kind of met the thing, but it's a nice shot, but it just did not hit me right. I guess just didn't, just didn't grab you. It didn't. It didn't shake me like some of these others, like the right. winner. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to a couple more here. Now this one here. This is from my from my buddy Terry Sutlick. Um, as he mentions here, not the most creative, but I seized the moment when my wife and I were out on lunch, out to lunch on Saturday, and he used the Nexus Five with the Google Camera app. Now, why this one got my vote was because of this right here. Seized the moment. You know, right. there's a there's a certain passion that goes into photography, and I appreciate it when I see people, you know, that just just stop what they're doing and and say, "Oh my goodness, I see something," and they have to shoot it. You know what I mean? Uh, there was a challenge we had a couple of weeks back. I don't know if you remember, but um, the community member described it, saying, "You know what?" It's okay to take a moment and look like an idiot here to get this shot because that's what we want. You know, we want some type of some type of creativity and something that inspires you to say, "Man, I really want to get this particular shot. I want to get this particular angle." Uh -huh. And that right there tugged at my heart. You know, let alone the fact that he's holding hands here. You know, um, I still don't know about. I guess that's romance. Then again, I'm not a romantic guy, so I have no idea. What romance is, but 
this one definitely got a vote from me because of that particular line right yeah. there and because of the hand holding here. What would I do differently with this shot? He was able to get oops, didn't mean to click that. He was able to get this this dish in full frame there. I wish this was there. Now it probably would have been a little difficult to hold the camera away a little bit and keep it steady with one hand while he's trying to hold his spouse's hand. I I don't know, but that's my take on it. I like the um I like what he's doing here. I don't think I would have done anything with saturation or brightness. Uh, I think it's, I think it, well, I don't know. It does look a little cool. I probably would have warmed it up a little bit because you can see it's sort of blue up here. But that may be blue coming from this particular shirt. I don't know. Anyway, that's just my two cents. I went to my, I went to my, mine. it kind of looks like a turquoise. Mm -hmm. So... But yeah, the word, the word is teal. Teal, Mr. Sweeney in the house. How you doing, man? Doing well. Good. Appreciate it. If you're going to play like being the creative, act like it. <laughs> that like it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, Mr. King, your thoughts <laughs> on this shot? We're gonna come to Sweeney here in a second. <laughs> You can let him tear it up completely. You know, you're right. It was just, again, the, the whole thing was just, that's closer to what I guess they were trying to get at, you know, with uh, with that. Just that uh, I had the camera out, and my wife said, if you take a picture of me, she knew what I was doing, you're going to find your iPhone 6 in the middle of, of 290. <laughs> no, I don't think so. So the missus wasn't having it, huh? <laughs> uh, this is our night out. We're going to said so we're we're gonna do this right. Put that thing up. If you take a picture, it's gonna go on the it's going out. That's funny. That's funny. She has a she's a blonde, but she has a redhead's temper. What what with this shot, is there anything you'd have done differently on it? Really? It's a nice shot. It's um, it captures everything. I really, I would have a hard time just to try to define it. So, I'll mm. let I'll let the expert curmudgeon tear it down. The curmudgeon. Oh, <laughs> ouch! <laughs> wow. Thanks. Welcome, in, my man. What are your thoughts on? It? Go ahead and let's hear it. <clears throat> that spoon's got to go. Why so? It's because way. It's not, there's no it's balance. A distraction. Yeah, okay. that that spoon overhanging on the wrist or upper forearm is really in the way. Mm -hmm. You know, typically, uh, and and this, my my first impression of this is, is this a food shot or is this a hand shot? Because it doesn't do either well. Gotcha. And yeah. and so I think he wanted the hand shot, which is fine. Yeah. Um. I would have put more emphasis on the hands rather than the food. The the food is decoration or should have been. Right. Okay. So you well, know, also shove, shove say, everything off to the left. Also, there's that say a way to a person's heart is through their stomach, so that could be that too. <laughs> yeah, but it, it goes back to my premise: is this a food shot or a hand shot? Right. Because honestly, oh, right now, know. the the big shiny plate with all the mounds of cheese on it is a distraction of the hand and the emotion. All right. And even when I get to that, I'm distracted by that little silver spoon kind of intruding into the to the into the moment as it were. And had this had this had the spoon in it right a, a spoon in it as well. It'd been even worse. Even a little better or no, it'd been even worse. Then then it's in your face because it's gotcha. in the foreground. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, you know the um I can appreciate what he's trying to do, but it brings up another pet peeve of mine, of which I have many. That, yeah. which he is. <laughs> which he is. <laughs> if, if only we lived in a perfect world, my life would be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. I know. My kids my kids remind me of that all the time. Yeah. Um, I was saying earlier. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no. I'll wait. I was just saying earlier, what I, what I dug about this shot was the fact that he, he, he clearly sees the moment, you know. He's out, and he's like, wow, this is 
I'm enjoying this time, and I'm here with my spouse, and you know what? Let me hold your hand. I, I want to capture this. You know, he, he, I like that idea myself. And I'm assuming he lived to tell about it, and the phone didn't get thrown <laughs> on the 290, you know? <laughs> There is that point. You know. I mean, he obviously lived, lived long enough to post a picture, so. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead, Sweeney. Well, my my gripe, my pet peeve, my whatever, is is posing. And uh-huh. it, it just, th- this this hand within a hand that he's got going there, I, I kind of understand what he's doing. Mm-hmm. It just looks a little awkward, though. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm does not entirely sure. natural to you. Well, no, it does. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I can understand because you know, I'll hold my wife's hand and I'll kind of you know move my thumb around and, and kind of play with the knuckles on her hand and, and this sort of thing. So I can yep. appreciate that. But uh, let's be frank about something: when you're taking a picture to elicit a mood, you're not necessarily reflecting reality. Okay. And and so he has a very nice realistic shot because we've all done this. Right. But I don't think it really puts out the mood that he was hoping to get out of it. Okay. As, as you said, when we're taking a picture, it's it's a, it's, it's a different sense of reality versus the well, not reality. It's not necessarily the reality at the time. It's sort of no, a, no. I mean, you're 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 going to fin- try to get fantasy. some emotional response from your your viewer. Gotcha. And sometimes you have to exaggerate things a little bit, or maybe a lot. To, mm-hmm. to really drive the point home if someone's a little slow in the uptick. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's that's what posing does. I mean, posing will smooth out an image. It makes it look natural even though it really isn't. And it will kind of help balance the image, if that makes any kind of twisted sense. No, I feel you. I feel you. So I'm trying so, to play around with this shot now. Yeah, trying to <laughs> prop it or... Let me throw a little... That's honestly that's better. If if, you, if, if we can take edit the spoon. the spoon out, yeah, if we can lose that damn spoon. <laughs> yeah. Take the spoon. That's out. what that's what Photoshop was for. That'd be a lot of work. Hmm. Healing tool. Well, you'd have to remove the spoon, then you got to remove the shadow it cast. Yep. That's some work. Yeah, I think I think cropping it would help it a lot, but that, then it just really kind of brings up the spoon even more. Yeah, I like it right here, but yeah, I feel you regarding this phone. Now, you know, you could always do the cliche shot with the candle in the hands, you know, but perhaps <laughs> there wasn't a candle around. Nice. Knowing my luck, I'd either spill the wax on myself or light myself on fire. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're here, I'm going to take a look at your phone. <laughs> <laughs> that was my smart ass posting against your smart ass question. Is anybody oh, posting? <laughs> oh my gosh. I said, look at this. <laughs> this That's one what? doesn't hit this one doesn't even hit the mark. Yeah. Not even close. <laughs> hey, it's not mean, romance. It says, I love somebody. How much romance do you want? Then see, that's what we were saying earlier, Sweeney. Is, <laughs> what's the line? Is there a line between romance and love? Oh yes. So it's it's it's. I was saying before um, the internet went down for me earlier that romance, well not romance, but you can shoot love a, a, a lot of different ways. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone so holding hands. Right it doesn't have to be someone uh, hugging somebody. But I mean, you can show love a lot of really different ways. ways. The shot that, I, that I shot the other day of me and my son. I saw love just looking at that, even though he and I were just goofing around. But absolutely, there was love there. You know what I mean? But romance, boy, that that romance is tough. That's pretty rigid, you know. <laughs> yeah, romance is tough because you're you're trying to sell an idea. Yeah, you know, and, exactly. and everyone's got a different idea of what romance is or should be. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 a tough one. I, w- I would almost say this is probably one of the toughest ones we've had. Just from, from the inter- standpoint, I from think interpretation, so. yeah. Mine, so. the shot that I did was the safest one I can figure out without getting either my mother mad at me or my <laughs> wife mad at me. <laughs> and so, well, okay, well, I'm going to pick on your shot here. All it's right. the safest is, one I can do. 
This is Kings. And in my opinion, yeah, it's it's safe, but it's too safe. I mean, that yeah. just, to me, that just says you like cupcakes. Yeah, it's also blurry. Yeah, and it's blurry. Yeah, I was moving around a little bit. But uh, that, there's nothing there that says romance to me or, or romantic to me. And again, yeah. I so will open Cream, white, say blood, that, red, and mauve. Mauve, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> and they were all, they were not bad. They just came from, they came <laughs> from Kroger. He's, he's no, ignoring. They came from Kro- no, they came from Kroger. They came from Kroger, so what do you expect? Oh, big spender. <laughs> <laughs> big spender. I love it. They were also uh, two two boxes for two dollars. Don't you watch oh, the yeah. cupcake show, man? You know, fifteen dollar cupcakes. Now that says romance and love. Yeah. <laughs> that says yeah. you need your head examined. Fifteen dollars for a cupcake. No, uh, oh, Jesus. What I did for, for what I did for the dinner for my mother. I did. Uh, I peeled shrimp. We did shrimp and wild rice. See, that's so love. That, yeah, that's love. and it's all that's not romance. That's love. It is. Yeah. And I fixed that. See, for romance, the romance is you pay somebody to do that for you while you stare into their eyes. It's, you know, that's it. That's it. The gaze. That's exactly it. It's that's, the gaze. That's, that's, it's, it's all about the eyes. I, oh man. Well, all right. So I'm not going to pick on your shot anymore. Let's go ahead and take a look at the one that got the most votes here. Oh, come From on, man. Man. Oh, yeah. It's not this one, Sweeney. Sorry. <laughs> man, that one's what a joke. joke. What a joke. <laughs> I, I, I'm not I even mean, throwing a bone he, on it. Normally, he, I throw a bone. But not, no, I'm keeping that bone this time. <laughs> I mean, this one, this one right here. Missed the mark from here to the moon and back. Hey, it's got a pink unicorn, and I love you. How much more do you want? I, I swear, man. I saw that, and I was like, that damn Sweeney. He's just, just, he's just jerking that the chain like again. Trying to shoot. It's okay. Try, is that, that shot was like trying to hit, hitting, hit yeah. a uh, barn two inches away with a bass fiddle and missing it. That was Sweeney knocking on my door and running. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> All right, I'll fix him. That's okay. Yeah, All right, the so here's our... <laughs> Ooh, that don't sound good. There's this net going down. So this is... Um... There goes the net. No, I'm still here. I'm still that's here. That's the answer okay? right you sound like a, You sound like a Cylon. You know, he sounds fine. So it's Ant sounding just like a Cylon. I think his net's dying. No. no, I'm here. You're fine, Ant. I think it's you. I think it's uh, Michael's network. Yep. Ooh. It's a fancy okay. Mac Pro of his. We'll go. <laughs> we'll take a look here at uh, Timothy McCusker's shot. This I'm on the iMac. Uh, top vote getter. He got six votes on it using a one plus one. And edit it in aviary. Yeah, I've used that app a couple times. Aviary is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I'll be right back. I'm going to restart the uh, the Hangout. 10-4. All right. So this one is his romantic shot or version of romance. Um, I get roses being a part of romance. Um, I don't get this as showing romance. I get this as a macro shot of Nature roses, yep, roses, you know, and it's not a bad shot. It's not. I like it with the the depth that it shows here because it's blurring out back here nicely. Um, I would have given it a little more contrast to try to define these edges a little bit more on the petals. I was actually gonna say it's a little flat looking. Yeah, um, <clears throat> but overall, I, he's. I think he did well there, but I just didn't think it was. Romantic. Now, had it been a rose in someone's hand and maybe the motion of giving it to someone, I don't know. Maybe that would have done it. But still, a good shot, Tim. Sweeney, your thoughts? Good shot. Wrong application. Wrong application. Well, what would you have done differently? Um... I think he's on the right track, or at least perhaps on the right track. So the rose laying on its side, perhaps with a card with some handwriting on it, 
um, the rose next to a box with a ring in it. You know, yeah. I mean, I mean, you, I can think of a lot of ways to use the rose mm -hmm. to to really to really uh, bring it home, so to speak. It just wouldn't. It couldn't be on his own, though. It had to have some other elements. It had with to have it. something else. Had to have something else. You know, it, it, an interesting concept would have been a romantic novel with the rose as a bookmark. You know, kind of laying yeah. on the table. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I'm just thinking out loud here. No, and again, that's what we're about, man. Is think aloud and share some different ideas. Mr. King, are you back with us now? Did I sound okay to you? Yeah, hang on just a second. I gotta close some windows. <laughs> <laughs> Safari crash. That sounds like some Mac problems. <laughs> yeah, it's called Safari. I don't know. I'm on Safari, and I got VMware running, and I got GSN3 running, and and and. Wow. And I'm not on that fancy tin can of yours. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not on it either. I'm on my iMac. <laughs> you the iMac. You, can you see the, sh the shot, uh, King? Of oh, the rose? Yep. Yes. Let me hear your thoughts on it. We've um, given our little two cents on it and, and what we think of it. What are your thoughts as far as romance from Tim McCusker? Well, uh, it <laughs> well, does mean it. You know, it does damn, mean it came because... Out up yours, for yeah. rubber hose. <laughs> Okay, no, um, what was I going to say before I got rudely interrupted? Oh, it does say romance, red roses, very, he has very expensive taste, and the shot's not bad. It has it nice and, uh, he has the rose nicely uh, centered and, and focused, and then everything else it has that depth, the depth of perception and all that, so it's not bad. So to you, it does say romance because it is a rose. Yeah, that's generally uh, that's the other uh, flowers is the other big one on uh, Valentine's Day. So, uh -huh. and especially red roses, and he has expensive okay. taste. <laughs> okay. Or more right. more money than brains. All right. <laughs> Some folks have had. I've, I've been told if I bring red roses home on a holiday like that, I'm dead meat. Yeah, I'd better put, I'd better put a anymore. bit more thought into it than red flowers. <laughs> exactly, it's too cliche. It's too cliche now, you know. Yeah, so it's been All explained right. to me. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> or beaten into you. <laughs> Not much difference. All right, so that's the winning <laughs> shot, dear. Congratulations to Mr. Tim McCusker. Appreciate you shooting that, and now that you're the winner, you know you're on the clock. you got to give us a new challenge, so just go into Google and, and create an event for the community. If you have some issues doing that, just ping any of us here in this in this hangout or me directly, and we'll get it squared away for you. And uh, be gentle, okay, please? <laughs> I'd like to be able to share, share a shot this week, you know. All right, before we get out of here, is there anything that you guys had wanted to discuss? Um, crap, looks like I got people wanting to join. Whoops. Did I miss somebody? Not that I'm aware of. Nope, unless it was... Uh, okay. Unless it was... Portis um, normally sneaks in right about now. This is normally Portis time. But anyway, um, right. is there anything you guys want to discuss? I know... Mr. King had an app that he wanted to talk about that's only available on iOS, but it looks like a pretty interesting app. What's that app, bro? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, something I saw on iPad Today, and I think also someone, some other, uh, one of the other twits uh, was talking about it. It, may, it might have been uh, Alex Lindsay on a MacBreak Weekly for a uh, one of their picks of the week, but it's an app called Hydra. It's both a high mm -hmm. dy high dynamic range app. It also does high resolution by you know taking multiple pictures of the same spot. The only thing with it you need to have you need to stay fairly still because it will take the same picture over and over, get like ten shots of it, and it gives you a very uh, high res picture. And it's pretty interesting. And also, it also so, has a very good a low light. And I haven't played with that. There was another app that used to do that. I can't remember the name offhand. 
but this one's this one's a very interesting app. It's uh, I'm still playing around with it, trying to get used to it, because you do have to stay. Now that's the nice thing with the uh, image, sta image stabilization of the iPhone 6 Plus. You have to stay fairly, fairly still, but it does do a very good shot, and it does have some good color and good everything. <clears throat> Looking at the website here, and it says, how does it work? Hydra merges up to 60 individual images to make a single high-quality picture, effectively getting more light from the scene. That way, Hydra produces up to 32 megapixel. Oh, we lose it? I think so. You hear me okay? I hear you fine. Okay, it wasn't me. I turned my uh, television off that uses U-verse. <laughs> He's about to... I think when I was having all that... I am, ha wow. I'm ha I am having some bad weather here, so it may be me. Yeah, because you were um, sidelong again, and then Mike came on crystal clear, and I thought... Sweeney, you hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you now. Yeah, I hear you now. Yes, it's not so okay. How fast is this this app, King? Because it says it's taking all of these shots at once. Do you notice any like lag time? Is it is it like a yeah, you take, snap it and about two seconds later you're ready to take a look? Yeah, it's taking it's been, it generally takes about one or two seconds. You have to stay still for just a couple of seconds and then because you'll see um, a if you scrolled up a little bit you'll see probably if you can get the UI of the app it shows where your your camera button is. You'll see a line that goes all the way around. And then you hear the the, uh, the sound of the um, um, uh, what you call it the uh, click there that run that orange button. Yeah. You hear me all right, Mike? Yep, I hear you. Okay. Uh, so now I see that it shows. A before and after kind of thing, yeah. and like even in this first shot, you get a different level of blue here from the uh -huh. sky. It gives you a high, a little uh, high resolution, and it gives you. Uh, it will clean up like if you have an area that has a lot of shadows, it will clean up a lot of the uh, low lights, without you know uh, blowing out a um, very high, br a very bright area. So this is the original. I like this option here. Mm -hmm. The original, and then this is with the Hydra. Now, this sort of reminds me of, I think on Android it's called a better camera, and it has an HDR mode. And when, it, when you snap it, it takes it about two seconds, you know, one and a half, two seconds, um, after you hit the shutter to be able to go back and look at the the gallery. And from what I remember with that particular app, it is processor intensive. You know, well, your phone, yeah. you, you start taking a bunch of these shots, man, your phone will start to get hot just from the processing this thing is trying to do. Well, of course. Do you, uh, have you experienced anything like that with your phone? Well, since the iPhone now is a quad, well, not a quad core, it's a dual core. No, or is it? It's a, I don't know, it's a dual core. It, uh, it's, it's pretty good. And we also, it, we have a pretty powerful um, um, graphics, you know, processor in it too. So it doesn't, it gets a little bit warm, but it, what it does, it'll take about 30, 40, maybe 60, 60 frames. But it does it, it does it within a minute, I mean, uh, one or two seconds. Okay. But if you look at the, well, if you go, nice if shot. you go back, if you go to that, uh, the UI showing the uh, the shutter button, there's a, um, yep. There is a where you where the sh right there where the shutter is. See that line that goes around the outside of it. Yep. That is what that tells you your progress. It'll go up, start with oh, okay. it will be it will be uh, it will be um, blank. Oh. So as it's rendering, it, that that works as like a little proce process bar or progress right. bar as it does its render. Okay. Right. Very nice.
Now, is this a free app? It's. It says buy. It says f I think it's four yep, ninety nine. Four ninety nine. When I got it, it was they had a sale. It was on sale for one one ninety nine, but it's uh, regularly sales for four ninety nine. It's a good app. It it is very it, it it does the stuff, and I'm still getting used to it. Because it said you have to be fairly still, otherwise you can get a little blurriness. Of course, that makes sense. Hang on that just a sec. Hang on now, just. Um, Hello. Like I said, I remember having. Hello. What was it called? I think it was called a better camera, and they they used to have their a standalone oh. app called HDR camera, and then they ended up just merging it all together to this a better camera app and it's a fairly popular app I know Robert Knight used to use it pretty much exclusively <clears throat> on his Galaxy phones back in the day but I think now that he's on the one plus one he's using the stock camera within um, cyanogen mod which is yeah, not I was bad. never I was never a fan of it on iOS I tried it a few times but wasn't what my idea of fun. yeah wasn't my idea of a good time what didn't you like about it didn't like the interface yeah, that took a minute to get used to. <laughs> that took a minute to get used to. Um, I remember seeing a lot of different features in there because you would have HDR mode and then you had something called like DRO mode or something like that, dynamic range or something. So you had HDR and this DRO mode all in one. And a couple yeah, of times I'd run that and it gave me some weird stuff. Oh, he showed me a shot there. There's the okay. app. That's that's this is my new love. Yeah. Manual What's camera. Nope. Can you see it? A C D C. Oh, right. see it. Is that called A C? <clears throat> oh. A C D C. I think I saw you mentioning that in the community. What's that all about? Oh. It's got <laughs> one it's got one thing. <clears throat> oh, let's see if you can see the top menu bar there. That top menu bar is all about flash. And the one I'm sitting on that looks like a yin and yang yep. is actually what they call a hybrid flash. And when you go to take your picture, it takes one picture with flash, one picture without, and then does an HDR against it. Oh, cool. Oh, it's sweet. How much is that one? Uh, $1.99, I think. But it's got some other features that are pretty sweet. It's got a built-in collage maker and some other good stuff. Oh, cool. But that one, that one feature will let you take a flash picture that actually looks more natural than the natural picture does. And Jeez. I've got it posted in the community. Yep, I, I saw it. it. it looks I saw it. It looks you really got, cool. You got it there, Because I can yeah, take it up. I'm, I'm sharing it now. <clears throat> there you go. Share that screen. There you go. There we are. And our screen is where? Oh, no, not that one. Use the nice one with the meter on it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go back. Go back. I oh, did. Come on. I do this really nice, clean collage. Oh, you bring up that little podunk thing I did on my desk. Hey, that, <laughs> hey, that's real world, baby. Yeah, that's it was. That world. was real world, all right. You know. All right. What about this? Welcome one? to the madness. <laughs> what about that one? That's the one. All right. Smart phone. The screen side away where I could see. Okay. Bring, there. Bring, bring it up. <clears throat> all right. It's all yours, man. Okay. Can can you actually click on it and, and get it a little bigger? I know I'm being demanding. All right. <laughs> yeah, you are. So, so what we got is we've got three images here. And the one on the, on the far left is the finished image. All right. The one in the middle is no flash. And you can tell because if you look at the meter's needle, there's a shadow against the dial that's coming from the overhead fluorescent. Yep. If you look on the far right, that is flash only. Again, you can tell because the meter white background's kind of blown, it is and you get this hot spot going on, and the background's really kind of dark. And when you it, it, it literally takes these two pictures, blends them together, and you've got a slide bar which you can see in the middle that lets you slide back and forth and determine how much of each image you want to use in the blending. That's awesome. And cool. when you look at the final image, I've got a white meter that you can see perfectly, no shadow. 
I've got good contrast and color down on the bottom where the, the, the numbers and stuff are. And I've got it bumped up enough where you can actually see the background without having to go and play in Snapseed to try to bring up shadows. So that Another is literally a flash, a smartphone flash shot, which in my book is perfectly acceptable. Oh, yeah. That's good. I, I mean, I, I know guys would be hard-pressed to do that with their DSLRs, much less a smartphone. You know, I'm curious to see how this would work with phones that have different flashes on them because just like every uh, smartphone camera isn't created equal, the flash on the phones aren't created equal either. No, they're not. And I've got a little on both the 5 and the 6 now, so I'm okay. going to do a comparison. Okay. And if I can find my, my 4S around here, it's on my desk somewhere, I'll load <laughs> it up on that and uh, see what a single flash, not the multicolored flash that, that right. the 5 has. Ah, uh, so yeah. It works. Yeah. By the way, my picture, this is what I took with that Hydra app. I just want to let you s let someone see the, uh, the yeah. actual picture I took with it. I got it, and it was just a nice day, and I just went outside and got as still as I could and took a shot. Yep. And it works. Uh-huh. So we got a couple of good apps today. Yeah. The other one I want to mention, I'm not done yet, is, well, it's called Square Size. And it's really kind of hard to see because, I mean, that's your basic menu. But what it does is it lets you take your image and it will drop it into a square frame for Instagram, but you can backfill the, the parts of the image that would normally get cut off or trimmed out with patterns or colors or whatever. So you can show a, a normal aspect ratio image even within the square format of Instagram. What's it called again? Square frame? Square frame. I've seen similar ones like that. Um, yeah, there, there's a few of them out there. I use, um, on Android, I use Square Droid. And it's probably the same idea. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's rather convenient to have yeah. that. I mean, I like the square format, but every now and then I do an image that only works a certain way, and it's yeah. not square. <laughs> it'll, always, it'll always cut it off on Instagram. And, and granted, I, I know I've said it before, and I think you feel the same way. Instagram isn't our ideal spot of posting our stuff. Um, it's, it's a fun place, though. Yeah, but every it's now a, and then we want, we want it to look halfway yeah. decent. <laughs> right. Yeah, Instagram Agreed. is just – really, Instagram, what it's for is your fun shots. Yeah. You know, something just, just kind of whimsical. Well, you can put I, it up. I would, I would disagree with that in some some aspects because there's a lot of art directors now that use Instagram to kind of get a look and feel of an artist before they they're approached. Mm -hmm. This is they're going to do a shoot. You know, um, I find that the folks on Instagram, the serious folks on Instagram, shoot for the media. They know it's square. They know it's low res at at some degree, and they mm -hmm. they use it to their advantage. Okay, and and you can make really beautiful pictures with it if you just put some thought into it. Right. So I've used um, Square Droid. Let me see here. Yeah, I had two of them. Droid and share them. They're all kind of the same, although you know some are a little easier to use than others. There we go. That's one. I don't think this I kept the other shot here. Thinking about it. This shot here, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but this was part of this whole selfie challenge I'm participating in. I wish this thing wasn't in the way, um, this dialogue box. But if you can see here, there's some black bars on the bottom, and there's a black bar on the top, about like how we had in the old uh, coming from the 4.3 aspect ratio in TV yep. uh -huh. <laughs> and going to widescreen. You know, and I typically use a white bar because it sort of it, it, it basically looks like a natural or native Instagram shot when you use a white background. Because the Square Droid app it it allows you to pick what kind of background you want to use. You can blur out the edges to where it sort of blends into your actual image, or yep. you can use solid colors. Uh -oh. And I either use black or I use white. Because I think I've seen some people blurring in it, and I thought it looked a little weird, but that's just my opinion. See, there's another one. See, this is one with the white <laughs> yep. here. 
Now, this, this is, is just a random Instagram shot showing off my protein. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted to show the whole aspect and not cut everything off. <laughs> you can't hear us. What's that you I'm, guys I'm, I'm sure you can hear it. This is the other one. I, I had it on the I other phone. I can't see it. What do you mean you can't see it? <laughs> Let me put it in your face. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's called cropic. Right. It's called cropic. <laughs> so it's C R O P I C. And crop it. Crop it. Okay. Crop pick. And that's another one where it'll let you take a picture and, and force it into a square format. Um, it's got one advantage is the image floats within the frame, so you can move the image around and do all kinds of fun things with it. I just got it a couple days ago, so I haven't had a chance to really beat on it heavily. That's it. But you know, I'll I'll play with them both, and, so and you can move it around, and then say, "Hey, this is where I want it to." Well, yeah, you can actually move the image around, so you can have like a huge border on one side and no border on the other. Oh, that's cool. You know, whatever. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty sweet. And like I said, I've only had it for a couple of days, but I'm I'm already starting to lean to this this particular app over the Square Pick. But it's just personal preference at this point. Uh -huh. What was that one called again? Crop Cropic. Cropic. Oh, okay. Cropic. Very nice. All right. Let me turn off screen share there. Okay. Anything else you guys want to discuss? Unless you or want to share. go into great depths about ACS and Cisco and routers. <laughs> Shut up with all that. I'm finally got mine fixed, I think. <laughs> you know, that's not, or or I, I we can know. go into my little story I told you, Anna, about my... I uh, saw that dude and I was the, like, hacking the router. <laughs> I said, man, this guy is a man after my heart. You know, there's no <laughs> point. You know, when, when people like me and you, say, when we call tech support, it's not for level one. It's just not. Yeah. It is. Right. It's, it's not going to end well for the tech support side. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, my routers, you can't really uh, hack into because... Apple has a tendency to lock them down too much. <laughs> there's yeah, always well, a way. There's always a way. <laughs> <laughs> there's always a back door, brother. There always is. But now my Motorola U-verse gateway, eh, different story. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm about ready to tell U-verse to go pound sand. <laughs> Time Warner is desperately trying to, to seduce me to the dark side. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm gonna let you fight that battle. It's Time Warner used to be here. Oh, I've I've saying. been Roadrunner, you know. Yeah, I've been with Runner. Time Warner. I'm with Uverse now. They all suck. Bottom yeah. line, unfortunately, it's just right. a different brand of suck. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, before um, before we get out of here, I'm gonna allow you guys to uh, sign off and let everyone know where we can find your work. Let's start with you, Mr. King. I can be found anywhere on the tubes at Michael King 4023. And Saturday, I can be found at the Bel Air Civic Center at the uh, Houston area Apple Users Group. We are having Dr. Mac coming in to give us the state of the Mac address. Uh huh. Now, is, the, is this also known as Hog Meeting? Is this once a month or twice uh, the, a month? Once a month. Generally, it's the third Saturday of the month. Sometimes we have to move it up uh, a week, and sometimes we have to move it back, depending on the uh, Bel Air's um, schedule, because sometimes they have a conflict, and we're the ones that get moved. <laughs> right. They have conventions of other and whatnot going on. It's, uh, it's a civic center, so it's different things, and they're getting ready to tear it down and uh, build a new place and everything, so we're going to be moving around on that. We're going to be out by the pool, be out by this, be out by that. But so far, we'll still be there, and we do have internet, if you want to call it that. Interesting. All right. Thank you for coming out, my man. Okay. Next up, Mr. Sweeney, where can we find you and your work? Next up, the only one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can find me, as always, at www.msmedia.me for all my photography stuff. I've added a new one which is msmediaplus.me. And that one is going to be more about the geeky side uh, that I inhabit. 
and some photography bleeds over into it, but there is a lot more geek crap that goes on in my world than people appreciate. So uh, if, if uh, you want to kind of poke a stick in there and see what's going on, drop by. Uh, and, huh. uh, and it's, what's the URL again? It's www.msmediaplus, and that's P-L-U-S dot M-S-media me. Plus dot M-E. All right. Appreciate you popping in and joining us this evening, sir. No worries. Always fun. All right. Lastly, myself. I am Ant Pruitt. You can find me here on Google Plus just searching for Ant Pruitt, as well as in the Twitterverse by uh, going to at Ant Pruitt, as shown right there in the lower third with the little fancy underscore symbol. Um, I still do some writing for the folks over at breakingmodern.com as well as a new domain.net or .com. One of those, either one routes to the same way. It's all good. And um, I just posted a review from Android's, well, not from Android, but about Android's um, version of Lightroom on the um, on the mobile phones. Interesting thing about that is that app, you can get it on your phone, but you can't get it on your tablet. And I don't know. <laughs> Go check that piece out, man. It, it, it just... It rubbed me the wrong way, man. It rubbed me the wrong way because, number one, you you can download this free app, of course, but you, you have to have a Creative Cloud account. And you if do. you don't have a Creative Cloud account, you can get a 30-day trial. whoop de doo All right, so you get this app, and it's not compatible with all Android phones. And we know the whole fragmentation deal or whatever, but I, I I just didn't quite understand why my phone wasn't compatible. My phone has plenty of horsepower to run this particular app. And then again, maybe my phone is considered a phablet, so that screwed with it because, huh, you can't have this on a tablet just yet. I, I don't get it. You know, a tablet's for Android are going to be, what, two or three sizes? You're going to be 7-inch, 8-inch, or 10-inch, right? iPad has two, what is it, two sizes now? Two sizes. They got the mid and the standards. And they might be yeah, doing a and third. They, and they have it on, yeah, and they have it on, on the iOS platform for tablets. I just didn't get it. And the interface looks fair. But trying to use that interface on the phone, I, I well, go, go check out the review. Just just go to a new domain. So, so <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a veteran of Lightroom since version 1, I actually installed Lightroom happily mm-hmm. on my iPad, and I used it for about three weeks, and I haven't touched it since. It is it is clunky. wow? So is this is clunky? <laughs> the the synchronization was was erratic at best, and I'll yeah. tell you. After yeah, the first couple I didn't times, get my phone. It was the sync. Yeah, if I couldn't get the sync to work after the first couple times, I just said, "Screw it, you're not worth my time and effort." Yeah. I didn't get the sync to work on any of mine yeah. just yet. I think I, I really think right now that but for both for both the, the mobile ones has more problems now on the desktop. It's just stable as a rock. It works. It is. I will. I won't disagree with that. But yeah, they're talking about Indeed. a mobile app. And, and I think there's a lot of work. It, it hurt my heart, man. <laughs> it hurt my heart. I, I wanted not such. Ready. Huh. I wanted to be able to use that and then have it sync up, and in case I wanted to finish something, I could come to my desk and finish the job. You know. Yeah. Well. But, oh well. I, I had dreams of life of goes on. I just jump back to Snapseed. Yeah. There's, <laughs> you know, I guess really right now is they're so new into it. It's just work in pros- progress. It's probably gonna take quite a few. I, I don't. I don't, do I don't mind a work in progress if they tell me that. But they're presenting it. Yeah. A don't do that. It, and it's not. Yeah. It's half baked. Yeah. Well, exactly. you remember, you remember how uh, Photoshop, rig- the original Photoshop for uh, iOS, how bad it is, and now the new one's a lot better. Are you, are you talking Photoshop or Photoshop Express? The Whatever Express the, uh, the Express the, was the first one. The one that you know on the uh, on iOS, it was yeah, whatever it yeah. was. It came out with Photoshop Express first, and it was just a an abomination of, of an editor. And then Photoshop Touch. 
and that's yeah, it, touch is not bad. It still needs a little right, work. That's fine. Right. So as I'm saying, this is the first time they've done Lightroom, so it's just gonna. We'll have to see what happens. I have. I don't run it because just send it. I I just use that continuity. Send my photos to my Mac. I edit them using continuity. I send it right back. Yeah. I'll put it back on the no, phone. That's the thing. In my opinion, just keep it under QA in house before releasing it. Mm -hmm. yes, but you know, I'm not, I'm not a developer, you know, nor am I a product manager. So, whatever. Right. Anyway, be sure to check that out on a new domain. Just search for uh, Lightroom on a new domain .net and you'll see my review there. Uh, I'm going to reach out to you guys later on in the week because I'm going to want to pick your brain. Um, as you know, Mobile World Congress is coming up. That's all about smartphones and wearable technology and I want to pick the guy's brain here in the community about, you know, what are they looking for when the next smartphone comes out. There's going to be a few announcements, as you may already know. Um, but, you know, again, I'll be reaching out and trying to, you know, quote you guys for a little there we go. tips and tricks and, and whatnot. Because Just put it on my <laughs> A little bit of duct tape and work fine. Oh, brother. <laughs> Very nice. Sweeney's yeah. lost it. Sweeney's Very lost nice. it. Sweeney's lost it. <laughs> yeah, that's been uh, going a long time ago. Jeez. But, but yeah, yeah look, look forward yeah. to um to to some questions and me pinging you folks, you know, about what you okay, what you no want problem. to see in the next coming smartphones. And um, hopefully, I'll be able to write up some good stuff and produce some nice videos for you guys. Um, that trip is next Friday when I leave. Yeah, next Friday, and I'll be back next Tuesday. So I'll be able to have one more hangout um, yeah, next slacker. week, too. So, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. You just want to leave Mike and Mike alone in the, in the chat room together. Yeah. Stir no, up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, you so want to we talk about get, crashing the whole web? That will happen. Oh no, no. We, we could get the Mike and Mike and Mike show in the in the chat room. Then we'd have a real fun. Oh god. Oh yeah. Oh, the, the, the three M's. Oh man, I think I need blood pressure medicine, medicine now. <laughs> you sleep scary. well tonight. We'll take care of things, Aunt. Yeah, we can. We've we'll, 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 we'll done it before. Oh, I'm sweating We've done it before, <laughs> and it's it's come out pretty good. I'm sweating now. Oh, gosh. Thank you, <laughs> folks, again. We appreciate everybody watching and supporting the community. Congrats again to Tim McCusker. You're, You're on the, on the clock. clock. And um, we'll catch you guys on the next Hangout. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Peace.